Thinking. Thinking. <gasps> it won! All right, Grok 1.5 Vision was released, um, and they compare it to GPT-4. And I'm thinking, why don't we actually just compare it ourselves? We can do that pretty easily. So the first one is the, the writing code based on a diagram. And you can see here, Grok creates a pretty simple Python script, and we can just test it real quick here um, using this online Python. You can actually just paste Python here and hit run. And you can see, seems to work. Guess the number between one and 10, six. Let's just guess, ah, it's four. It worked. Okay. Let's bring this into chat GPT-4. So we're just gonna copy that, paste, and then I'm gonna say, can you translate this into Python code? That's a pretty good open statement. It definitely has to rely on the image for this. So it's using the code interpreter. Let's see it generating here. Okay, I like that it created the pseudocode up top. Interesting, it looks like it tried to run it. But let's see. So let's take this code and bring it into our handy dandy thing. Enter your guess, one to 10. Okay, five, I won. First time I won. I need to go buy some lottery tickets today. Wow, first one, that's suspicious. Let me try again. Five, wrong, okay, good. Okay, it was four this time. So this is great. I much prefer the code comments, honestly, on here. I can read this so much better than Grok. Grok, all it did was have this one comment right here over on the right. I'm gonna say GPT-4 wins on that. The next one is calculating calories. I, I'm actually gonna be shocked if ChatGPT gets this right because it's basically it's doing a bunch of math. Maybe we'll use code interpreter, that's my guess. Um, but I'm guessing that Grok might actually win here. And I'm going to ask, how many calories are there in five slices of this? I'm nervous. Okay, to find out how many, you can set up proportions. It's taking its sweet time, I'll be honest. It's really trying here. It did end up using code interpreter here. It did get it right. There are 100 calories in five slices. There are 100 calories in five slices. I would give them. I think they're the same on that one. Next example, uh, we're going to do a drawing to bedtime story. So we'll grab the image. The Grok one is only okay. Let's see what ChatGPT4 can do. Once upon a time in a world where the sea and sky were painted with the lines of a child's imagination. I like that better. A brave little sailor atop a rocky cliff. Okay, honestly, GPT is winning already because on this one, it's like, lived in a cozy house. It doesn't seem to really be taking this in, whereas already I can see a rocky cliff right here, and it's a sailor with the boat. So honestly, I like it better. Um, he was the guardian of the seabound village, known to all as Captain Sketch. I don't know about Captain Sketch. Captain Sketch wasn't like the captains you hear of in Grand Tales. He was sketched into life by the imaginative young artist. He had a magical hat shaped like a triangle. Okay, that's pretty good. As the sun dipped below the horizon, it was the legendary sail of dreams. I'm gonna say by far, ChatGPT4 wins this one. Way better, I like it so much more than this one that kind of goes all over the place. All right, explaining a meme. This one I would expect again, Grok, but like maybe I'm giving too much credit. So let's see. Grok does do a good job of explaining this meme, though, down here. But let's say I don't get it explained, and let's see how ChatGPT does. All right, the image you say is a humorous comparison between startups and big companies using the metaphor of workers digging in the ground. You know what? I prefer this already because there's a summary of this up top, whereas this one says it's a humorous comparison, and then it starts explaining it. You see many people act with dipping the sand, appearing very involved and hands-on. This suggests that in startups, everyone is expected to contribute actively to the work regardless of their position. The joke lies in the exaggerated contrast between the dynamic all hands-on deck approach in startups versus the more segmented and hierarchical. Okay, eh, I want Grok to win this one so bad, but I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say ChatGPT. I, I like it better. Look at the end summary. It's half the length of this, and I feel like it conveys a little bit more even in the way that it does it. So Grok should have won this one in my opinion, but sorry. This is why I also like actually just using it hands-on. 
I know that numerically it might be winning on some of this stuff, but I don't know. Okay, so converting a table to CSV. Grok uh, did this really well. There is an error right here where the first line is always lowercase, whereas in the example, it is uppercase, and also in these, it's lowercase. Let's see if ChatGPT does the same or better. Please convert this table to CSV, that's easy. Thinking, thinking, it's analyzing it. Okay, so it's using Code Interpreter. I do like opening up, seeing what it's doing. So it's using Python, Pandas. It's loading the image file. It's using OCR. Seems like it's using a Python library to do the OCR here versus actually using its own vision, which is kind of clever. Let's see what this does, but I, I kind of want to say just using your own vision. I am very curious how long this took Grok. That's the one thing we can't see here. Um, and we get a fail. Let's try a different method. Well, I do like that it's still trying. Oh, Grok is gonna win this just because I'm annoyed at how long this takes. Oh, the other thing that we can't test, this is probably the best output in 100. And so right now we're comparing this to a random output in ChatGPT. So technically, Grok should win just because these are hand-picked examples. But it's not, which is concerning. Another error. ChatGPT is not winning this one. But did Grok do this? We don't know. Okay, I'm gonna stop it because it's insane. And I'm going to say using vision only, no Python. I'm not sure that it can even do this. Okay, it's doing it. This is way better. Okay, so we've got sport event date. Okay, this, I would say ChatGPT wins here because they're capitalized. It's missing the, the one, two, and three here. So Grok wins with the, the first number here. And the names look good. The sport looks good. And the dates look good. Okay, I'm gonna say this is in the end a tie because we can't see what Grok's output was. So that's gonna be hard. In comparison with these two, it's a tie because Grok gets it, but they're lowercase, which would be really annoying in some instances, would make it just wrong. Whereas in this upper lowercase is correct, but we're missing the one, two, three. It's debatable on whether you want that on OCR or not, I suppose, um, but I'm gonna give a tie. Next one. Help with rotten wood on desk. This is not fair. This is this is a cheat. I think they completely cheated on this because they did not say something referenced just in the image. They give all the information that's relevant in this. So for instance, if I, if I don't give any vision at all and I just say holes are appearing around the screws, is it rotten? Should I get my, my boards replaced? No vision at all, no image. And it's going to say basically the same thing, which is, probably replace this. So this one says the appearance of holes, look at this, it appears. It's this, that's why this is a cheat. I didn't even put an image in it saying the appearance of holes could be a sign of wood rock. Um, and this is saying the same thing. I'm not gonna say ChatGPT wins. I'm just gonna say Grok failed at this because this is a really bad input for this to see what it's actually recognizing. Bad job guys. Solving a coding problem. Uh, I'm not even gonna do this one because I've always been bad at coding problems. So let's just say it's a tie. <laughs> um, okay, let's go through the real world examples here. The real world examples is where uh, XAI is saying, we are superior because we're using all of Tesla's information, all the cars, all these cars on the road are recording you. And so we're gonna use that information at XAI, even though it's a separate company. Um, and even though you didn't give permission for XAI, even though you probably did somewhere in, in the user agreement. So yeah, that's how it's gonna be. So let's take this and say, which object is larger? My guess is they're gonna be the same. They're about the same size. Tie. Okay, next one, where can we go from the current lane? It sounds like this is hard, but like this is a really easy, you have a very clearly red sign up here and you're very clearly in this lane from, from here. So 
Um, I can't imagine that this is not going to be a tie. I would be shocked. All right, so the answer is A, turn left. What's it going to be? Turn left. Good. Okay, both got it. Um, and this one is, given the front camera view from the sedan, do we have enough space to drive in front of us? Yes or no? Guessing this is all gonna, also going to be a tie. This is really good prompting, though, because there's a very clear A or B. A, yes. Yep, okay. It's a tie still. This one took me a minute to actually parse, given the picture in which cardinal direction is the dinosaur facing. We have a compass here, and so you can figure out that this is east because this is pointing southwest. This one's trickier, and again, this is one that I want Brock to win just because they have so much more um, of that kind of data. But I'm already learning that that means it's probably going to be a tie. I still want Grok to win this one, but I recognize that I'm biased and just wanting it to win on something, and it's probably not. <gasps> it won! ChatGPT is wrong. Interesting. Okay, so this is a great example of, of how, how having superior data on this stuff uh, works. Yay, Grok won one. But there is enough ChatGPT win that I'm still going to say of these examples that they gave, um, not even handpicked. Because also, I wonder how many times if I did this, I could probably get it to say the right answer. So I'm going to give just points off to Grok just because they're handpicked examples and you can't actually use it yet. It's not released and it's comparing against an older model. So I'm going to say the winner is still GPT-4B and Grok is getting better very fast. So let's keep watching it. Curious, what do you think of the, uh, of the two in comparison? Which one do you prefer? And thanks for watching.